Hey, what's up guys? It's Moonfi here and today I'm going to be making a Call of Duty tier list. I just want to give you guys a quick disclaimer before we begin this tier list and that is this is my first tier list and that I have not really made a tier list before but also I have not played every single Call of Duty game. You'll see that later on in this video. I've always been a Halo fangirl so I've always just played Halo my entire life and then later on you'll see that I switched up and I played more COD and yeah you'll go ahead and see that so I just want to give you guys a quick little warning so yeah. <laughs> before we begin I changed the note to an F as in it is a fail in my books and I will not be playing that or maybe I have played it and I just highly dislike it so yeah that is another thing I'm gonna let you guys know but with all that being said I'm gonna go ahead and start with Call of Duty number uno aka the original Call of Duty I don't know anything about it that's my answer <laughs> I've actually never played it. I don't know anything about it. So yeah, I gotta give that a never played. So our next one is Call of Duty 2. This honestly looks really familiar to me, but I don't think I've ever played it. I may have seen gameplay for it. So unfortunately, that is also going to be a never played. I do want to see when it came out though. So Call of Duty 2 was actually released on October 25th, 2005. What games were out in 2005? All right, so these are all the games that were out in 2005 in terms of an FPS. I'm trying to see if anything looks familiar to me because I know I was playing a lot of other games at that time. Probably Halo is a safe bet. You know, none of these look familiar either. So I don't know what was going on with me. I remember seeing Fear. I just never played it. I remember seeing that game in GameStop all the time. I was actually playing a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2. Aside from this, this list isn't all of them, but just from a glance, I also remember playing Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. I didn't like this game though. I hated it. I think I only played it for like a solid five minutes because I was a child and I basically had no idea what was going on. I think my dad was upset that I got a game. I just did not like it. So he got really upset with me at that time but we can go back and do our tier list now as I feel like I wasted a bunch of time I remember my brother playing this game I've never played it so it has to go into never play it as well unfortunately but I remember it being a fun looking game the next game is Call of Duty 4 aka the original modern warfare you know what this is such a bad game. I really hated this one, so it's going to S tier. Just kidding, guys. I was just messing with you. But Call of Duty 4, aka Modern Warfare, is my favorite Call of Duty games. It's definitely an S tier for me. I do want to let you guys know, though, that when this game came out, I was very young, so I don't necessarily remember every single detail from this game. They're, like, buried way back in my brain, maybe even in the recycling bin in my brain. But what I do remember was that Modern Warfare was actually a really good game. I love the campaign. I was no lifing it a lot. I do want to search up the game on Google and see if I can remember the multiplayer maps because I have like a photogenic memory. I can't remember the names of anything but if I look at like a photo of something I'll be able to remember it instantly so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay well that's just disappointing. I hate that if I search up Modern Warfare I get 2019 Modern Warfare which Wow, that's a really low Steam rating. Is that why they were afraid to put on Steam for so long? Because this is the original Modern Warfare and it has a 9 out of 10 Steam rating, even a 9.4 from IGN. I'm looking at this multiplayer and honestly, this looks familiar. Yep, I remember this. I remember this map and this mission. It was annoying to play. <laughs> it was a fun map, but I think I was just struggling because I was the new bed games at that time. As I'm looking at more of these maps, they look familiar, but I was more addicted to playing the campaign than the multiplayer at that time. I do want to say that I was a giant noob when it came to playing multiplayer, so that's also why I probably didn't play too much of it. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and move on to Call of Duty World at War. I don't know if I've actually played that. Let me see. It doesn't ring a bell and it doesn't look familiar, so it's going to go into never played. Unfortunately, I already missed out on four games and I could not give them a proper rating. I do feel guilty about that. I want to go back to those games, but honestly, they look so potato-y that might be just really hard to do that. Regardless, said the next game is Modern Warfare 2 and this game is very controversial. It's either the worst or best. Some people liked how broken it was or some people absolutely hated it. I, for one, absolutely loved it. I was so evil when I would play this game. I was noob tubing people at a young age. Obviously it had the intervention as well and we can't forget the infamous Afghan map like I love that map so much. Along with the campaign it was so perfect like between the multiplayer, between the campaign, between the music it was perfect in my eyes. That is like the best Call of Duty game ever hands down. I love that game so much. 
much. And honestly, when they made Modern Warfare 2 backwards compatible, I was playing this so much. It was a lot of fun. The game was once again alive, and oh my gosh, the amount of days I played that during the summer, it is just a vibe. It is so reminiscent. I love that game with all my heart. Like, if I could go back in time and tell myself to play that game every single day and never do anything, don't even touch grass, I would go do that right now. I would actually go do that. That might be a little extreme. I know, I know. It's okay though. That's just how good that game was. I also want to mention before we move on that Modern Warfare 2 was the first game that I finished on Veteran. And after I finished that game on Veteran, I actually went back to the original Modern Warfare and finished that game on Veteran as well. I don't know what it was, but finishing those two games on Veteran made me feel like such a badass. It is the goofiest little detail, but I just thought I'd mention it. Up next, we have Black Ops 1. And this game is a really fun one. Although there is a lot of controversy surrounding it for some reason, I actually really like Black Ops 1. Fun. I've seen a lot of people give it like some really low tiers, but for me, it's actually a A tier. The zombies in this game scared me so much. I'm not gonna lie, this map was the scariest thing ever. The zombies in this game gave me a nightmare. I legit had nightmares for weeks, if not months, by playing this map. I was probably a little too young to be playing this especially zombies at that time. And then you had five as like JFK and like all the characters in there. And oh my gosh, nightmares. Such nightmare feels for little old Moonfi, but I loved it regardless. The only way you'll find me playing a horror game or really anything scary is if I have someone to play it with. And my brother and his friends were the only ones to play that with me at the time. And that's the only way that I was able to play it. It was fun, but I was terrible at it. There was a time period where there was this like Call of Duty YouTuber, his name was White Boy 7th Street, and he would be uploading his like commentary Black Ops 1 videos. And I would come home from school every single day and I'd be watching those videos. Something about at that time was just like so precious to me now that I look back at it and honestly if it wasn't for Black Ops 1 I feel like I wouldn't be playing too much multiplayer when it comes to Call of Duty. Up next is Modern Warfare 3. You know what was happening around Modern Warfare 3? This girl was playing nothing but Halo Reach. So I'm sorry I heard nothing but good things about you but I never played you. I feel so bad about that. I really want to revisit this game. I can probably take out my old Xbox 360 and play it. I actually ended up buying a disc version of this game not too long ago, and I still just have it sitting in my closet. I should definitely give this game a chance. I just haven't had the time to play it because I'm honestly really lazy and I don't necessarily have the time for it most of the time. Eventually, I'll get around to it, but for now, it's a never played. Up next is the game that I think is very controversial. I see a lot of people saying it's either really bad or really good, and people that say it's really good, they're getting called their eyes are covered with nostalgia lenses or something like that. It's really weird. I think if you like a Call of Duty game, you like it. If you hate a Call of Duty game, you hate it. And also I just grabbed my squeeze ball because I got like really distracted. <laughs> but aside from that, I actually really love BO2. It's an S tier for me. I love that game so much because this is a game that got me into Search and Destroy, had me playing the game way more regularly. I love the kawaii uh, camo they had. It had like these cute little teddy bears. There's a dragon camo that was actually really cool. It would be glowing and stuff. There's so many cool things about Black Ops 2 and I can just ramble on and on about it, but it is an S tier for me. Also, let's not forget that the Black Ops 2 main menu music was based basically chef kisses as well. I struggle saying this word. Adrenaline? Adrel- Adrel- Ad- yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> Basically, it is the best song ever when it comes to Call of Duty, at least to me. I really love it. It is super nostalgic and it's just like the best song ever and I don't know, something about Black Ops 2 hits different. Okay, so the next one is Call of Duty Ghost. Now this is gonna be an interesting one because A, I've never played it and B, I never played it. Yeah, that's basically all I got. I'm gonna give you guys a rating for this because I've watched a lot of COD content around this time. So for me, these games actually sit at like a C. I'm gonna give COD Ghost a C, but I'm gonna give Advanced Warfare a B. Advanced Warfare deserves a B because the trolling content and the concept of Advanced Warfare was very interesting in my opinion. I didn't play either of these. I actually played X1X for Advanced Warfare and I had a lot of fun playing it. I just don't feel like I got enough content from Call of Duty Ghost to basically say like, well, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. I'm just neutral about it. As for Advanced Warfare, I was watching a lot of COD content creators around that time and they made this game 
game looks so much fun that I would be wanting to play it. But I wasn't playing it because I was playing Halo. So I do give this game a B because the community around that time was really just like top tier to me. Same with Black Ops 3 actually. I didn't get to play this game. I missed out. I actually missed out. But this game sits at a B for me because this is also a game that was carried by the community in my opinion. I've always wanted to play it. Never got to play it. If you guys remember, my brother had a copy of BO3, he just never let me play it. So unfortunately, I never got to experience Black Ops 3 in its prime. I actually had Infinite Warfare for a short amount of time until someone stole it from me. So I have to give this a C as it is neutral. Someone legit stole my copy of Infinite Warfare. It's not a story that I'm gonna go ahead and get into just because it's a little too personal, but to the person that did steal my copy of Infinite Warfare, just know you're disliked. Anyways, moving on, I did get to play Call of Duty World War II. And you know what? This was a really goofy game. I'm gonna give it a B. This game was so interesting for a World War II game. It had so many goofy moments. And again, content creators for me, when they are really having fun with the game i feel like it makes the game for me as well because it's just the overall experience and i watch a lot of content creators play this game and also play it as well and i had a lot of fun there's so many goofy things about it like the emotes in here i don't remember what the game mode was but when the enemy is building a bridge it's like permanently stuck in my brain for some reason just because the announcer would like scream it it'd be so loud i love that game for how goofy it is up next we have call of duty black ops 4. this game this game, this game is something special. I played this game after I had just moved and honestly, this game basically was the most interesting game I had ever played. The emotes in this game were absolutely cringe and you can do some really cringy things with that being said, like twerking for example. It was so toxic, like you can do some really, really, extreme things in there but you know what i think that was the charm of black ops 4 is that it was so goofy it was the opposite of what we currently have which is super serious call of duty and i think for that reason it actually has a pretty good rating for me i'm gonna be honest with you guys at that time i actually disliked this game because it was so toxic and it was just like so like far out of left field for me but looking back at it now i'm honestly really fond of black ops 4 just because it's so different and unique and it's like kind of interesting for its time. And you know what? I think my favorite thing about Black Ops 4 is actually this meme right here. This meme was the pinnacle of summer for me. So up next is Modern Warfare 2019. I've seen people also hate it and dislike it. But you know what? I'm gonna say that I liked it. I thought it was a really good game for its time and I can't get over having the tanks on the hillside on ground war. I don't remember the map but basically you can camp on this like tall hill and you can snipe people with the tanks into their spawn. I was a troll in that game so I'm gonna give it a B. It's not my favorite. It's not the worst. It's pretty good. It's not neutral. It's above neutral for me. And now we have Cold War and Cold War to me is kind of mixed. There's only so many things I like about Cold War and those things were the zombies and Nuketown. I hated that they never fixed the gung-ho exploit. I hated that the matchmaking was super sweaty. I hated that this was like a game that had an identity crisis. I'm just gonna say it. I'm very sorry about saying that because it's really mean, but the zombies is what carried this game for me and I'm not a huge zombie player either. Like zombies is not the first thing that I would ever go to when it comes to Call of Duty because I like multiplayer more than anything. So with that being said, this this game is gonna be the first F. The nice thing about video games is that we can all have our own opinions and we don't necessarily have to agree with each other. So with that being said, Vanguard gets an F. That should have been the first thing I should have done, right? Put Vanguard there. That game was so bad. We're not even gonna talk about it. It is Voldemort. I'm gonna save Modern Warfare 2022 for last. So I'm gonna put that there real quick. So here's the thing. I didn't actually play Call of Duty Mobile, but I've seen gameplay of it. I've seen YouTubers make videos on it. And this game looks like a lot of fun. And honestly, I would give it a chance. I just haven't because I don't really like mobile games. But the fact that it's pretty good and it looks like it has a lot of things that we want in a Call of Duty game gives me a neutral opinion about it. So I get to see. And this next one is Chinese COD. Now in order to play Chinese COD, you had to do some very interesting things. I didn't play it personally, so I can't speak on those interesting things. But I've seen videos on it and this game literally looked phenomenal. It looks so fun and so out of character for what a Call of Duty game is that 
Honestly, I feel like this game should be an S just because it was so creative. I feel like these creative games for COD is what really makes me like the game. Unfortunately, the servers got shut down like a year or two ago, so that kind of sucks, but it is a really good game nonetheless from a viewing standpoint. Up next is Call of Duty Warzone. Now, I actually played quite a bit of Warzone and I thought it was pretty good. I played a lot of Plunder, I played a lot of the regular Warzone, I was never good at it, I've never been huge on BRs. This was around lockdown, so a lot of people were actually just playing this. I loved all the live events and energy they put into Warzone, they actually put so much thought process into Warzone at this time, and I thought it was very nice to see that they actually had a passion project and they worked really hard on it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a... I'm thinking about it. I'm like right here you know like it's not an a but it's also not a b i want to go ahead and say it's a b i gave it a b just because it's like it's good but it's not good enough for me to warrant it to be a a with that being said next we have warzone 2 and honestly i haven't played enough warzone 2 to be honest i've only played it a handful of times like every time i made a video on it that's basically the only time i've played warzone 2 so i don't necessarily have an opinion of warzone 2 as much as i have of warzone 1 so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and put this to never played because i don't feel like i've played warzone 2 enough to be like i hate it or i like it and also this is just an instant s tier because it's just a remastered modern warfare Warfare. Unfortunately though, Modern Warfare Remastered was bundled with Infinite Warfare at that time and I thought that was so, so wrong to do. They basically made you get Infinite Warfare in order to get Modern Warfare Remastered. I just don't like that. I think that was a very cheap thing to do. So the second to last one is Blackout. So Blackout is interesting this is the first time we got a br when it came to call of duty obviously blackout was a passion project and i think ultimately it was kind of a miss at least to me i don't know i can't really speak on other people's opinions on that but to me it was a miss i feel so bad for vonderhaar because he was getting so much hate for blackout and really black ops 4 in general but also blackout was the reason why warzone does exist because if it wasn't for blackout we wouldn't have warzone so you know i guess since blackout was basically the leading force of warzone and to create a free br for call of duty i'm gonna have to say it's a b just because i appreciate the hard work that they put put into blackout you cannot tell me that the devs didn't work hard on that it is impressive for what they had to do in that short amount of time and last but not least is modern warfare 2022 this game i was actually really looking forward to there's a lot of positives in modern warfare 2022 but there's also a lot of negatives at the same time so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and give this a a c it deserves a c it's not necessarily a f but it's also not worthy of a b there's so many things about modern warfare 2022 that i feel like could be better and i'm still hopeful that things will change for the better and it'll just take time because you know game development is pretty hard and tedious and i feel like people tend to underestimate that currently the state of modern warfare 2022 is a very interesting state it's like a love-hate relationship in my opinion there's so many great things about modern warfare 2022 but they tend to get overshadowed by the negativity around it it has its good moments and it also has its bad moments i love the raids in the game i think they're really well done but i wish they would have elaborated more on the story of a certain character in the campaign versus having it in the raids but i can see why they kind of did that at the same time i don't want to give you guys spoilers if you haven't played the raids but yeah i just kind of wish that one of my favorite characters from modern warfare 2019 wouldn't get gypped and put into a raid and he basically became like a side character in the whole story <laughs> although he is coming into season three so i'm happy about that i don't know when he's coming in but i'm looking forward to his appearance because he is absolutely perfect along with Captain Price. I love the fact that they made the camo grind so easy in this game. As someone who's never actually gone for camo grinding in any of these other COD games, I had a lot of fun doing it for the first time this year, and it seems like a lot more people are doing it as well, but that being said, they made it more user-friendly, and a lot of people are able to do the camo grind versus some people weren't able to do it in the past games because it might have been too difficult. The only gripe that I have with Modern Warfare 2022 is the maps are too big. I know there's server issues, and I know there's bugs but who cares about that i don't care about it because you know what games come with issues and that's okay they get fixed eventually i don't necessarily need a map the size of shipment but i do prefer to have a map that's like maybe just twice as big as shipment or maybe even three times big as shipment i don't know something that's just 
not too small or not too big because right now I feel like the maps are too big in the game. I don't necessarily want a encounter 24-7 either because that just seems a little too redundant. If I had to recommend a map size, I would say bigger than shipment but smaller than most of their maps. But with that being said, this is my tier list. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see if I want to change anything. I'm gonna go ahead and move COD Mobile to a B along with Infinite Warfare. Those get a B instead. I want to move Black Ops 3 to an A. I want to move Advanced Warfare to an A. I feel like I'm moving this around a lot, but this makes more sense to me. I just gave this another look and I want to move Cold War to a C instead. I don't necessarily hate Cold War and I think the zombies really carried the game for me. There were so many glitches and goofy moments in that game that I think it is a C versus an F. The only F is a Vanguard. <laughs> but yeah, this is my Call of Duty tier list. I do want to give you guys a heads up that I did not put this in any particular order in terms of like which is the first S tier, which is the first A tier, etc, etc. These are just how it came on the list that was down below here. I just kind of moved them as I went along. But like I had mentioned, this is my Call of Duty tier list. What do you guys think? Did I do well? Did you guys agree with my opinions? Do you disagree with my opinions? After all, it is just a tier list. It shouldn't really matter, but I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys regardless. I do think these five games up here are absolutely goaded, and if I got the chance to play Chinese Cod, I would 100% play that because it looked like so much chaotic fun. I just, I would have loved it. I know I would have. Because even from a viewing standpoint, it was definitely a very interesting game to watch. Also, if you guys end up doing a Call of Duty tier list, I'd love to see your guys' tier list as well. You can definitely tweet it at me. I have a Twitter, but I don't necessarily use it, but it's literally twitter.com slash moonfee. I'll put my handle on the screen. You guys can definitely send it over there. I'd love to see your guys' tier list and see if you got anything similar or how different it may be. I'm definitely curious to see that. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end my video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my Call of Duty tier list today. I had a lot of fun going through all these games and kind of reminiscing about them. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling because I feel like I've been talking for an eternity now. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and night evening. Take it easy and peace. Bye!